Welcome back, Mandy Light Bulbs, to another Jujutsu Kaisen live reaction. In this one, we are reacting to chapter 244 titled Inhuman Makio Shinjuku Showdown Part 16. And we have switched over to Yuji, Sukuna, and I always forget this guy's name from the Cullen Games. I forgot his name, but it's the guy that Yuji fought. And this is very exciting because Sukuna right now is fully transformed. And I'm just wondering, what are they going to do against Sukuna? Because Sukuna literally beat Gojo, beat Kashimo, and now it's a 2 one versus Sukuna. I know this guy from the Kellen Games, he has that Law and Order uh, Jujutsu technique and stuff. But we will see what happens here. Let's see. Takaba creates an opening against Kenjaku and Okotsu kills him. That only happens if we have confirmation that Gojo has lost. Also, they already were planning this. And they, they already put into effect that Gojo might lose. So they went with the Takaba plan against Kenjaku to distract him. Okay, that's very interesting. But Okotsu will have to hustle back seriously. Interesting, yeah, because to fight Sukuna... Yuji and this other guy, is they are not going to beat Sukuna by themselves. There's no way. It has to be an all-out attack. Against Sukuna, it'll be, it'll be all-out war. But we still got to decide who's going to fight. Are they dumb? If it's all-out war, everybody fights, and I'm first. There's no, point in, there's no point sending someone to the front who'll die right away without even creating an opening. Like Miwa. Oh, man. The Miwa disrespect. Me, Miwa, I was seeing on Twitter, uh, somebody was like, Miwa gets no love. So, Mia from Jujutsu Kaisen, she's cool. I like her character. She has the, I'm trying to think of, of the circle she makes. I, I, I forgot, let me see. Uh, let's see, personality. I'm looking at the snaps, uh, at the wiki right now. Good thing we have the wiki. Because Mia really doesn't have any major accomplishments in the series, which is kind of sad. It's like a new shadow style. Yeah, here we go. New shadow style, simple domain. Uh, anything. Okay. Kasumi assumes the proper stance, creating a circle with a 2.21 meter radius around Kasumi. Anything that enters this space can instantly be anticipated by Kasumi's blade. If both of her feet leave the position where her stance began, the technique is dispelled. Okay. I, I do like that technique that she does. Okay. Like Miwa, not only does she lack skills, but she imposed a binding vow herself in Shibuya never to swing a katana again. Why did she do that again? I, I don't even remember. And Ghetto blocked my attack barehanded. What was it because of that? Let's see. Miwa binding vow. I don't remember. Is the Shibuya arc? Go just come back. Sensha Mio made a binding vow for herself, which stated that she was allowed. Let's read. Oh, this article just came out 20 hours ago. Wait, maybe the chapter will explain to us. Or maybe because she was embarrassed that Geto stopped her attack so easily. A sorcerer should be able to use cursed energy to reject Tengen's merger with the people of Japan. Okay. If Sukuna and Kenjaku win and the monstrous offspring of the merger wreaks havoc all over the world, there's a chance some people can survive. Okay, so if, if some of the sorcerers reject it uh, by shielding themselves, by shielding themselves with the curse energy, though if, if though if Kenjaku survives, he'll kill anyone who's a player in the culling game. Even then, survival is possible for a few days, longer if only Sukuna wins and survives. Sorry, but count me out. I doubt I'd be of any use anyway. Okay, so killing Kenjaku was literally the best option. And the only way to have killed Kenjaku was if Gojo lost. So Gojo lost to kill Kenjaku. Uh, Yuta killed Kenjaku, which I don't know why so many people see Yuta as a pushover. You gotta watch Jujutsu Kaisen Zero or read Jujutsu like Kaisen Zero. He literally, <laughs> he destroyed uh, Ghetto. He didn't end him. He didn't kill him and stuff. But that was a very impressive fight there. Well, he didn't destroy it. It was an impressive fight. He took the W, though. I want to protect my family. I intend to flee with them overseas. Really? That's fine. This guy just said that if the merger happens, the, the offspring of that 
will cause havoc all over the world. And even if this dude escapes overseas, it doesn't matter because you might okay actually no it doesn't matter because everybody in the whole world is just not going to automatically die like some people might be in some crazy hiding spots playing hide and seek uh level 100 hide and seek players <laughs> and you'll never find them i don't need an explanation this isn't this isn't an execution it'd be strange if someone was cut out for this fight thanks for teaching me so much senpai after all choso can't teach for a squad oh really <laughs> Show so. Combatants will include anyone we've, with reverse curse technique and anyone who wants to die or doesn't mind dying. Everyone else will be back up or set out. Wait, let me see something. I really like the dialogue heavy chapters because it, it just shows their strategies. And this guy, the guy that I don't I don't remember if he's blind or not, the guys with his eyes closed, um, he I believe he had the the blood technique as well. <laughs> Yuji's like, Chozo can't teach for anything. That's so funny. And it is interesting that Chozo is literally Yuji's brother as well. Which we all know that at this point in the series. Reverse curse technique. I don't think I don't think Yuji has reverse curse technique. I forgot. I don't remember. I know Yuji has Black Flash. He has Superhuman. He Yuji had Superhuman strength even before uh, becoming a sorcerer as well. I'll go in after Kashimo. My curse technique can, conf can confiscate Sukuna's curse technique. Wait, let me go back real quick. And anyone who wants to die or doesn't mind dying. So he's like, hey, if you want to die or don't mind dying, you, you could come help out in combat. Everybody else will be support. My curse technique can confiscate Sukuna's curse technique. Okay. So it could seal it. All right. He's acting like he expects me to lose. It's just in case. We are grateful to you for letting gojo go first well i don't like it <laughs> why is akari lying to this man <laughs> but to kashimo like he's like we're grateful you let gojo go first dude if if kashimo went first and sukuna went all out he will be dead if if he receives the death sentence i can fight sukuna with the executioner's sword that executioner sword, it reminds me of Kuwabara's Kuwa uh, sword from Yu Yu Hakusho. By the way, this month we are actually going to get a Yu Yu Yu, uh, I'm sorry, a Yu Yu Hakusho live action series on Netflix. I'm hoping it's going to be good. A sword sure to kill one blow, huh? That'd be great, but the ruling may not be confiscation or death, right? That's so broken. But the odds, the, the chance of it being the death ruling are, are very slow. I, you know, I kind of do want him to use maybe get that ruling to see if Sukuna could do anything against a one-shot sword. A one-shot sword. Maybe this is what Gege has in the back of his pocket. Like, okay, there's no way to defeat Sukuna. The only way to defeat him is with this sword. That if it strikes you, you're dead automatically. That That's actually very interesting. It depends on what charges Judgment brings against Sukuna. Even you can choose, right? Right. Okay, so his curse technique is balanced. Like it, it's it's not based on what he wants the the verdict to be. Me and Sukuna switched three times: high school, the juvenile detention center, and Shibuya. A lot of people died at the ten detention center and in Shibuya. You could you could have your way with regard to Sukuna's actions in Shibuya and time in Fujigoro's body. Given the crimes he's committed, isn't it death sentence likely? No, I don't think so. Here's what I know about Sukuna. First, there's Itadori's high school body, bodily injury, injury to Itadori, possession of his flesh, attempted murder of Satoru Gojo. Then there's the detention center murder of Itadori, but possibly only attempted murder since Itadori came back to life, attempted murder of Megumi Fujiguro. Finally, there's Shibuya, murder of two cursed user high school girls, attempted murder of numerous civilians. Okay, wait, wait. He's he's breaking out everything. So how won't he get the death penalty if he did this? Attempted murder of numerous civilians. Wait, wait, it's an attempted murder. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. In Shibuya? <laughs> okay. Murder of two curse user high school girls. Okay, so he got two murders there. Attempted murder of numerous... Attempted murder of numerous civilians... 
uh, murder of the sorcerer with a pigtail, arson of inhabited buildings. How will you count what, what he did in Shibuya as attempted murder? I know he wasn't really trying to kill the civilians because he was fighting, uh, the enemy showed it, he was fighting against Mahura, Mahuraga, uh, which I don't know what's going on with the Crunchyroll subtitles. Like, they're a hit or miss at times. But enough about that. The, an arson of, of inhabited buildings. He also possessed Megumi Fujigoro, but depending on Fujigoro's condition, the possibilities are bodily injury, murder, and illegal possession of a dead body. The detention center was way worse than that. It will be hard to accuse Sukuna of crimes due to the cursed objects that are his fingers. Those crimes are indirectly Sukuna's fault, but he didn't willfully aid or abet. Wait, what? Okay. It will be hard to accuse Sukuna of crimes due to the cursed objects that are his fingers. Those crimes are indirectly Sukuna's fault, but he didn't willfully aid or abet. That could also make it hard to charge him for Junpei Yoshino's mother. A guilty verdict for a single murder results in 10 to 15 years of imprisonment. Killing two people is life imprisonment or death. There, three or more usually means death okay so basically sukuna right now the only murders he has on his hands based on uh, i gotta remember this guy's name because I, I just keep the this thank you for the wiki e even some mangakas are like uh happy for wikis because they're like oh it's so much stuff he wrote me okay so Hiromi is breaking it down, and it's like, <laughs> Sukuna is only in charge, only did two murders, basically. He's He'll get imprisonment or death. It could be either or. And he, Hiromi is not in charge of the verdict that is handed down. Now, it was confirmed three deaths, then it will mean death. Sukuna's actions are cruel, selfish, and deleterious to society, so rehab is Rehabilitation is unthinkable. Even applying the Nagayama criteria will easily result in death in a normal trial. The Nagayama what? Oh, I get it. What? You understand that. Nah, you're joking, right? I don't even know what they're talking about. Do you think I'm stupid? In a normal trial, the totality of his crimes will result in the death penalty. But Higuruma's curse technique tries each crime separately. And I say there's L a less than 30% chance of death for just those crimes. <laughs> this is this is interesting. The problem is small offenses attended to big ones. For example, stabbing someone is bodily injury or attempted murder, but the stabber also tears tears the victim's clothing, which is strictly speaking property damage. When it comes to the slaughter in Shibuya, Judgment may focus on property damage or breaking and entering. Then the death penalty is a long shot. That is so, that is one of the dumbest things ever. <laughs> because people are still dying because of the actions of Sukuna. Even if Sukuna didn't want to murder those villains, it still happened. Judgment accused me of entering a pachinko parlor, so it's possible. Judgment could also focus on minor offenses that Sukuna committed while in Todori's body. What are you doing? Are you stupid? Another problem is, is crimes committed a thousand years ago? No, that's too long ago. Modern laws were passed in the Meiji era and they include a time limit, a statute of limitations, right? But the code of criminal procedure was amended in 2010, removing the statute of limitations for murder, so no statute of limitations, but that doesn't affect murders committed in 1985 or before. So there's a statute of limitations. <laughs> This is so funny. So the statute of limitations was removed. So any crimes you you commit at uh, 1986 and onwards, you you still could get uh, you could, you still could get sentenced for. Her. But then the, the the amended law and stuff now is like oh also there in 1995 and before that's it the statute is gone. But the Yoro Co legal system from the Hain period has no statute of limitations. But the thing is, can judgment even apply that period of the Hain? The can judgment apply the period? The oh my goodness, the law, the legal system of that era, which doesn't make sense because there's it's it's a new era and stuff. And then judgment, it each single crime, it does it individually. Or not. 
So what is it? I don't know, huh? The statute of limitations doesn't advance when the, the criminal is outside the country. Depending on the treatment of Sukuna before taking flesh, the modern statute of limitations may not apply. Wait, so, so what statute of limitations can apply? Like that other world is overseas. Yes, exactly. Judgment is the shikigami that's part of my curse technique. So if, if, so if I think it's possible, then judgment might think so too. If we add in crimes a millennium ago and anything up to judgment's discretion, Sukuna's potential crimes are countless. So the chance of judgment accusing him of something worth the death penalty is small. Even confiscation, confiscation instead of a guilty verdict would be welcome. But I don't know if my curse technique confiscation will apply to ten shadows technique and malevolent shrine if it only applies to one even that help actually there may be a short way to get sukuna the death penalty okay let's see what yuji says okay we have are these crows yes these are crows i'm like what is this shikigami or crows okay we got crows gojo kenjaku sukuna guys at that level always shoot my curls down. Gojo, Kinjaku, Sukuna. They are afraid of a direct hit, so landing a hit could do some damage. I distracted him. You're up, Higuruma. Okay, Higuruma, let's see what you got. What's, what's gonna happen? Because in the anime and also in the manga, when one of those girls had that camera, uh, she, <laughs> Sukuna was like, oh, that's such a boring technique. So let's see what he thinks about Higuruma's technique. Oh, yeah, that's his last name, Higuruma. Okay, let's see. So Yuji is there as well, I guess, to serve as some form of distraction. He's punching uh, rocks at Sukuna to, for his vision and stuff. Oh yeah, but he still has Yoru's, um, Yoru's curse to the tool that he got as a gift. What just happened? He actually staggered Sukuna <laughs> with a punch, because Sukuna blocked it with three of his hands itadori okay let's see it's time for a do-over domain expansion deadly sentencing a third trial what if we redo my trial against you but involve sukuna then you can prosecute sukuna for the slaughter in shibuya oh hey what oh this is interesting now this is interesting uh, Gege must have done a lot of research for this. Deadly sentencing's three year, deadly sentencing's three tiers are random, so it won't work. Well, if I request a retrial for a crime that's already been a, a, a oh my goodness, adjudicated, and includes Sukuna as a co-defendant, it is impossible to continue the trial for the same crime. That's because there's no benefit to me. The object of the curse technique is Itadori. Even if it fails, I can restrict the crime to when Sukuna was possessing Itadori. Yuji Itadori stands accused of mass murder in Shibuya on October 31st, 2018. Itadori didn't kill anyone. His confession during the second trial was due to irrational feelings of guilt. The real killer is. <laughs> Wait, so Sukuna is actually going to get charged with the crimes in Shibuya? If the verdict passes and he gets the death penalty, this will be very interesting. I want that verdict to pass because I definitely do want to see how, how, how will Sukuna get out of this? If he gets hit by that one-shot one sword, like one shot, you're dead. That one hit, you're dead. And Sukuna is smiling. So Sukuna is like, okay, he's probably like, okay, this is going to be very interesting. And you know, the type of character he is... Uh, he, he, I will say he probably did have a, a, a rival or something when he was really young or something because we don't know the full extent of his backstory. But as of right now, like, yeah, like we, we saw some of his backstory and nobody could hold a candle to Sukuna at all. So, yeah. Overall, this was actually a really good chapter. I like the dialogue. I like dialogue heavy chapters we, because we get to see how the characters think and all the planning they go through. And it's not just, oh, we're just going to fight. No, they actually come with entire plans and uh, not just one plan, multiple plans. Oh, if this fails, we'll do this instead. So it was nice that everything was calculated, that even uh, the killing of Kenjaku was calculated.
as well and the utilization of Takaba which which is interesting how Kenjaku died because Kenjaku he he also wanted entertainment we there's times we saw Kenjaku smiling and laughing here and there but you know his death by Yuta was definitely how would you, what would you call it? it it was an interesting death because in a sense Yuta Okay, Yuta defeated Ghetto, and once and this time around, he kills the sorcerer that took over Ghetto's body. So you could say Yuta defeated, yeah, Yuta defeated Ghetto's body twice, which is cool. But overall, I'm giving this chapter a solid nine out of ten. I really like the direction that Gege is going with the series.